I really like this apartment. However, with a baby, you know, it just feels a little claustrophobic. It's just not perfect. I think this place is excellent value for the neighborhood she wants to be in. It's a problem. Yeah. mother Janine's maternity leave is about to come to an end and she'd like to find an apartment closer to her support network of friends and family. Seven months ago I had a beautiful baby daughter named Bridget and she is a wonderful baby. However we've just outgrown this apartment with the stairs and everything and all her stuff it's really tough. When I go back to work I'm anticipating it being extremely stressful and I'm really looking forward to moving to a location where there's more friends and family that can help me out in a pinch. One of my best friends who's in a wheelchair, she can't come to visit me. And so it's a bit of a drag and I always have to go to her with the baby. So it'll be nice to have something that's more accessible. Trying to find an apartment with a young baby is tough. Janine's been searching online and has even been to see a few places, but she's been disappointed with every visit. It's been really tough to get out. Traveling with a seven month old between nap times and figuring out when to go view the apartments, it's been really difficult. With the end of her maternity leap looming near, Janine's gotta get a move on if she wants to secure childcare in her desired new neighborhood. And that's why she needs me. Hello. Hello there. This is my friend Joanne. Hi, Hi Joanne, how are you? you? Good, thanks. So this is the place up here? This is the place. Okay, have you ever been up? Once, about five years ago, and I'll never do it again. <laughs> and you'll see why in a minute. Can you show me it really quickly? Yeah. We'll meet you at the restaurant? For sure. Perfect, okay. okay. Oh, here it is. How do you handle these stairs with yeah. a stroller? And a baby. <laughs> so this is the bedroom. This is a great size. It's fabulous and I love it. The problem is really the location and the it's fact that the stairs. Stairs, yeah, okay. So right now you're sharing the room with the baby. I am. Hi, Bridget. So this is really our everything room. Yeah. It's our play area for Bridget. It's our living space. <laughs> It is our dining room and our change table area. And we spend a lot of time here. Size-wise? It's fine. It, okay. it works. I think you need some air conditioning. It is. <laughs> it's a bit warm in here. So you're going to miss this area for food and shopping? I am. And I'm really sad to leave. Right. It's really just necessity in terms of now being a, a new mom. Yeah. So what's on your wish list? Well, definitely accessibility. Accessibility for both of us. <laughs> so that's a huge issue. I mean, yeah. we're really close friends, and you know, I'd love to help out more, and I can't. Other than accessibility and location, I really need laundry. I need to have parking, a clean place for the baby to crawl around, like hardwood or laminate. Yeah. Storage is important. Yeah. And might I ask how much you're paying for it? Just under a thousand. Well, I realize I need to go up in price. Okay, and how much further are you uh, willing to go? Well, you know, I've, I'm saving to buy a place, and so I don't want to spend that much more on rent. I'm really hoping to stay within the range of 11 to 1300 inclusive. Okay. Okay, so that, it'll be tight. It's it'll be challenge. tight to find a, a generous size two bedroom that's got everything you're looking for. Right. It's not enough to have to find a family-sized apartment in one of the most popular neighborhoods of town on a very tight budget, but it has to be wheelchair accessible too. Just another day at the office. If you're looking for an accessible rental, a house can be a great option. An open concept main floor or bungalow is ideal for a renter with mobility issues. I'm taking Janine to look at a renovated, semi-detached house just minutes from her preferred neighborhood. The reason I took you a little outside of your neighborhood is because this place is a steal. So you'd have the whole thing to yourself. It's got a nice backyard and front pad parking. Great. It's also renovated top to bottom. Happy to take a look. The stairs might be a wee bit of a problem there. <laughs> Don't worry. The landlord here is absolutely willing to put in a ramp. So that would mean you can come and go as you please. No problem. Great. Great. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I love the floors and it's very clean and it's bright. Is there a bathroom on this floor? There's no bathroom on this floor. It's actually upstairs. Could be an issue when I'm visiting. This is the door to the basement. Unfinished, where your laundry is, tons of room for storage. Great. 
Oh, and this is nice. Very there's nice. Bake, and there's room for a table over there and lots of counter space, dinner parties. She's known for her dinner parties. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you've got a new dishwasher to clean up after your dinner parties. Or you can do that. that. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks quite nice. Nice big bridge. Yeah. It's a nice space. It's nice that it's new. Yes, you know? it makes all the difference. That's a bonus. Oh, lovely. That's Aww. very nice. Nice little deck. Very cute. Good. OK, I'll show Janine upstairs really quickly. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay. Oh, nice. So this would be Bridget's room. Great. Two closets. Oh, great. For the little princess. Oh, yes, perfect. <laughs> oh, nice bathtub. That's great. Yeah, totally yeah, renovated. It works. Oh, smaller, but there's a closet. There's two, there's two closets. closets. <laughs> this is fabulous. Oh, that's great. A nice big window. So could you see yourself living here? I think it has potential. Downstairs, it's a, it seems a bit narrow. There's no bathroom on that floor, but I guess I can work around that. It is a narrow space. This is what I was thinking we would do. To make the most of the space, we'll place the larger furniture pieces along the wall. A large sectional couch will maximize seating and divide the living and dining areas. Adding some colorful art and open shelves to the main wall will create more dimension in the room. Do you think that would work? Yeah, I think it, it might work. OK. I'm just a little bit concerned. It's really out of the area that I was looking for. Good ideas, but it's the bathroom issue on that first floor. So if we compare this place to your wish list, you've got parking, laundry and air conditioning, gleaming hardwood floors, a big backyard, and a huge basement for storage. And it's renovated. You're getting a lot here. I've seen places like this on the market for $1,650, $1,700 per month. This one is an amazing deal at $1,500 inclusive. I know it's over budget, but it might be worth it to have this much space. I would have to think about it, because it is over the budget. It's just a matter of the price, price and location. Janine wants to live in one of the most sought after neighborhoods in the city and won't compromise on location. So to get location, space, and the most bang for her buck, I'm taking Janine to a rental in a high rise building. So we're in your preferred neighborhood, what do you think? Location is fine, actually. Are we close enough to friends and family? Yes, I think so. There are some really good things about this place. It's got public transit right at your front door and a bank and all sorts of great amenities and you're down the street to a major grocery store. The building does have underground parking and an elevator so Joanne can come and go really as she pleases. As I'm sure you can tell, the crowd around here is slightly older. Generally that means it's quieter. Often it means it's better kept and safe. Lots of babysitters. Oh yeah, totally. Wow, nice and bright. Yeah, it's nice and clean looking, for sure. Awesome view. I figured if I was going to make you come up to the sixth floor, <laughs> at least you needed a lovely treetop view. Wonderful. So what do you think of the parquet floors? I like them. They look nice and clean and easy to crawl on. Because you do a lot of crawling. Yes, 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 <laughs> Keep yes, <searching>. yes. <laughs> Kitchen's here. It's a galley. Are you OK with an apartment-sized stove? It looks OK. You can make some magic on that. Yeah, I think it'll work. It's good. Yeah, small, but. Good work. Here's the master. Oh, OK. Nice size. This is good. It, it's it, a good size. It works. It's got two closets. That's great. Oh, no, that's really cute. A uh, little but... problem? Mm -mm. I'm not going to fit. Yeah, I feel like they do that all the time with bathrooms. I don't understand why they make narrow bathroom doors. It doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, this is very cute. It's a good size for a second bedroom. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Bridget could be very happy here. Could you see yourself living in this apartment? You know, the bedrooms are fine. That main room, there's something, it just feels very dated. OK, dated, I can work with. A bold paint color and graphic rug will brighten and modernize the living space. The use of a smaller table and chairs will make the dining area appear larger. We'll replace the dated vertical blinds with a custom window treatment. A stylish sectional couch will maximize seating in the living area, and two soft, baby-friendly cubes will add extra seating. Now, if we stack this place up against your wish list, it looks pretty good. Public transportation at the door, underground parking, nice, clean floors, accessibility at least to get Joanne into the suite, if not to the washroom, right. and there's laundry in the building. So it's just not 
perfect. Now the price may sway you. This place is $1160 plus $65 a month for parking. So $1225 is pretty great for this neighborhood. Yeah, no, the price is definitely right. She's too nice to say she doesn't like it. She is not feeling it. She doesn't like it. If Janine wants to live close to family and friends at a price she can afford, she's going to have to compromise on something. I'm hoping she'll fall in love with this condo. It's a little smaller, but it's right in the heart of her desired neighborhood. This property is going to tell me whether location reigns or whether she needs space. Well, this must feel pretty familiar. We're down the street from Joanne's house. Yes. It's a wonderful area. Steps to the lake, a park, a grocery store. You guys would even be sharing the same coffee shop. Absolutely perfect. I think you're going to like this building, too. It's a condo. There's a gym, there's a party room, underground parking, a big storage locker, and it's wheelchair accessible with an elevator. Perfect, yeah. perfect. All right, so from the outside, it works. Let's see if inside works. Should we jaywalk? So come on in. We enter right into the den space. It's lovely. I'm shocked. It's got a great feel to it. All right, let's have a quick look at the kitchen. This is nice. The galley's a little bigger. This is nice. I can turn around. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Lots of cupboards. Yeah. And behind that door is a laundry room and a pantry. Oh, Good. great. There you go. I can do laundry for you. There you Perfect. go. I can do laundry whenever I need to. And with the baby, I'm doing laundry all the time. The uh, breakfast bar here as well with the stools. Is that good or bad? No, no, it's good. Uh, the stools, I don't know, because Bridget might be climbing up on them. But definitely to look out on her is playing great. is perfect. Functional. So the living dining area is a nice combined space with the access to the patio. Great. Nice and open. And the floors are great. Yeah, and it's real hardwood. I think it's quite similar in size to what you have now, no? It's a little bit smaller. You know what? It just feels a little claustrophobic. OK. Now, I know this doesn't feel like a lot of space right now, but there's lots that we can do to make it feel a bit bigger. Since the space is small, we'll keep the colors neutral. I'll use smaller scale furniture to give the illusion of space. All the pieces will be multi-purpose, including a couch that pulls out into a sleeper. To maximize the floor space and make the room more wheelchair accessible, we'll tuck the dining table against the wall, but it can be easily pulled out for entertaining. So with those designs, do you think that this type of space could work for you? I can see the potential. <laughs> I'm yes. still hesitant. Yeah, you are not going to get what you had in the place you're living in right now, so, you know, you've got to give a little. Hey. <laughs> Door frame's big enough. No, you can get actually, in. Actually, it's more than big enough. I can totally get in. It's perfect. So now I can actually babysit for more than four or five hours. And there's a bathtub and a shower. Tons of storage and fabulous lighting. Yeah. So here's the bedroom. Just one bedroom. It's the bedroom. I'm really disappointed that it's only one bedroom. In order to get you close to budget in this fabulous area down the street from Joanne, it's a one bedroom. The bedroom itself is fine. It's unfortunate that there's not one for Bridget. It's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Yeah, but the bedroom has a lot to offer. And if you think about it, this place has pretty much everything you were looking for. It's the perfect location. Couldn't get better. Underground parking, storage, laundry, and it's wheelchair accessible. Yes. All that at 1400 inclusive makes it a pretty good deal. Right. But are you willing to sacrifice that extra bedroom? Yeah. yeah. I'm really torn because it has everything else that I need to make it the right place. I think it would be fantastic if Janine could live here. Everything is here that you want. And if there's a way that Jody can make that living room, dining room space somehow work and functional for you and the baby, it could work. And then I'll have free babysitting down the road. Exactly. There you go. The spacious, renovated house, the low-priced apartment in the high-rise, or the one-bedroom condo with the great location. Which one will Janine and baby Bridget make their new home? The place I was most excited to show you guys today was the house, because it gives you tons of space, and the landlord was willing to put a ramp in. The one thing I didn't like about that property was the location was just too far off. However, I 
really like the fact that it was all renovated. And the only thing with the house is even though if it was ramped, I still can't get to the second floor for the washroom. So that's yes, right. another downside on that one. It's a bit of a drawback. Right, OK. And then what about the rental apartment? The apartment was very old feeling. The neighbors um, or the space? <laughs> <laughs> that too. Um, you know, for the space, the price was definitely in the right range. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love that bathroom. It was too bad it was inaccessible. Too narrow, I couldn't get in. So yeah. short visits for that one too, if that's right. the case. Okay. Now, what about the condo that's just up the street from Joanne's house? It really is so good in so many ways. It's just... Yeah, what's really hard to swallow is the fact that it's a one bedroom. So that's, uh, you know, a big decision too. Location versus the space. Okay. So which one's it gonna be? Well. It's going to come down to location for Janine. So will she go with the spacious apartment with the great price tag or the one bedroom condo in her desired neighborhood? The condo. Yay! Nice! I'm so happy. Yeah. OK, so location wins over having location an extra bedroom. Location wins. Got to go with the condo. The condo's the winner. So next up is to call the landlord and make the apartment yours. Some of the things you want to lean on are the fact that you have a fabulous job that you'll be going back to at the end of your maternity leave. And I think I heard a little tiny voice in the background when I was booking the appointment. So I think he might be a new dad as well. So really sell him on why you're the best tenant for him. Right. Give it a roll. OK. Not only did Janine sell the landlord on why she'd be a great tenant, but she was ready to back it up with reference letters. I work right downtown. Janine must have really impressed the landlord. She got the condo, and she moves in in a couple of weeks. He was a great guy, gave my references. Everything went great. I can't wait to get my hands on that living room space. Well, <laughs> I look forward to seeing what you can do with it. <laughs> Janine went a little over budget on her new apartment, so she wanted to keep her moving expenses low. I have my sisters and my sister-in-laws helping me on the move. She decided on a small rental van, which may have been cheaper, but presented a whole other set of challenges. The mattress was a bit tough. It took quite a few tries, but we got it in. Well, it took about six hours. I carried a couple bags, and I organized her fridge. That's, I got off lightly. <laughs> Overall, it went quite well. They might not do it again. <laughs> Janine's small apartment needs a big makeover. A warm, neutral color on the walls will make the space feel more open. We're using two small chairs in the dining area to maximize space. Janine already had a versatile wooden table, and we'll pair it with metal chairs to give it a modern update. To add storage in the living area, I'm creating beautiful, personalized boxes for the baby's toys. Carpet tiles will add a colorful and practical play area for Bridget. They're soft to crawl around on and can be moved around the space. I'm hoping this will be the perfect new home for Janine and baby Bridget. Wow. Wow. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. Come see your new space. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, Great. look at that wall. That's gorgeous. Because your office is your front entrance, we needed it to be tidy yeah. and spectacular. Oh, look at that desk. Love, <laughs> love the desk. That's spectacular. It feels really open, and it, it's just, I love the stainless steel. It looks really, really classy. I love the way that they put up all my photos. I think that looks great. I like it. I'm amazed how big the office looks. Come see your living space. Wow. Wow. It looks big. This is absolutely not what I expected. I, I'm actually shocked how big it is. It's fabulous. I, oh, the new couch. Because Janine was downsizing from a large two-bedroom apartment to a smaller one-bedroom condo, I wanted to make sure everything was as multi-purpose as possible. Let me check out the couch. Janine's sofa is a sleeper, so she can convert it to a bed if she wants to leave Bridget alone in the bedroom. And her dining table extends to easily seat six people. And the chairs are lovely. Aren't they fabulous? They're great. This is incredible. The way it was set up was really neat. And this is nice. Turn around. Oh, really good Bridget job. area. Yes, that's Bridget land. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so sweet. These are carpet tiles. 
So oh. you can take up Bridget land and move it anywhere you like. I love the area for Bridget to play. That's perfect. These are on wheels. They're toy boxes that were custom made for Bridget. Oh, got the bee oh on that's them. great. That's good for me. She's eyeing those up. Are you eyeing up those toys? She wants to go in the box. <laughs> I think the living room, dining room area is really functional. Lots of room for me to wheel around the baby to crawl. Come see the bedroom. Ooh, wow. It all fits. <laughs> Just. <laughs> yeah. Because of the size of the bedroom, I had to keep it very simple in there, paring down to just Janine's bed with crisp white linens and the baby's crib. Whose bed is this, Bridget? Oh. Whose bed is that? <laughs> really? Did you ever think it would all fit in here? <laughs> it's unbelievable, actually. I really like the way it's set up. It's great. It's perfect. I spent just under $900 for this makeover. Most of my budget going into the office space where I purchased a desk and a bookshelf and one roll of fabulous wallpaper that really gives the area a nice sparkle. I'm really, really happy. We're now in the right spot, close to lots of great friends and family, and it's gonna be wonderful. It's two minutes up the street from my house, completely accessible, and it's great, because now I can drop by anytime. Well, I think she's going to be comfortable here. I think she <laughs> I likes think it. she's going to be very comfortable. Thank you so much. You're very Great welcome. Job. It's Thank been a pleasure. Go.